dear brothers and sisters in Christ around the world. My name is Werner Voivode. I'm the founder and leader, together with my wife, Regula, of uh, Abraham Ministries International. This is a prophetic reconciliation and uh, a prayer ministry uh, based here in Switzerland, near Lake of Constance, near the border to Germany. And uh, we started 25 years ago with this ministry called by God. Uh, I am not a theologian, I am not a, not, a, uh, not a master of whatever, I am just a believer and I became a believer in uh, 34 years ago. Uh, I was never, never, never believing in God, in church, and all this stuff. Uh, for 15 years I was an alcoholic and a drug addict. I was a criminal, I was in prison, and so on and so on. My life are completely destroyed. And uh, other people prayed for me. I was never seeking and wanting God. <laughs> But he came in my life and in a radical, radical brokenness, in a radical way, he revealed himself to me. And this was the beginning of my way, of my new life, born again with my Savior and King, Jesus Christ and my Heavenly Father. So when we, I mean, during these days, we have a lot of... Uh, prayer initiatives uh, on, a, on, a, on a national level, on a continental level, on a global level, uh, one prayer initiative after another, and some come together on the same day. Uh, so there is a, 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 a busy, a busyness of, oh, we have to work, oh, we have to work, well, we have to pray, oh, we have to pray against this, and we have to ask, and to... Be still and know that I am God. This is what God is saying. Uh, <clears throat> what can I say uh, during this situation, during these circumstances of the coronavirus? Uh, you see in the back here uh, a picture of the lion, the tribe of Judah, because the lion is roaring. And you see also two silver trumpets in front of them. Uh, with these silver trumpets, uh, God called us in 2009. Uh, he called us and sent us out. Uh, first in Europe, every of all the 50 nations, the continent of Europe, and then in all the other continents around the globe to to sound the two silver trumpets based on numbers 10 uh, where God called Moses to make two silver trumpets to call the people together and break off camp. So God called us to go uh, between 2010 and 2016 nearly hundreds nations around the globe. We finished end of 2016 with the two areas near the North Pole in Greenland and near the South Pole in the Antarctica. To sound the two silver trumpets as a wake-up call, a prophetic wake-up call, and released his message. So I, 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 uh, he gave us a message and we, we proclaimed this, we preached this during the last 10 years more than 100, 200 times. And interesting thing is, last year God told us, or two years ago the first time, and last year again, write this message, write my message for this time, write it down and in a form of a letter and send it out to the seven most spoken language groups around the globe. So we did it, we are obedience, <laughs> uh, and 
uh, now in in the moment we have 20 languages we have uh, translations in 20 different languages uh, and this letter to the church and this was going out in in all the uh, all the corners of the earth this is the message from him in this time there's a connection with between the message who he called us first time 11 years ago and uh, two years ago and last year again write it down in the form of a letter and send it out and so i can not go in detail you can have it and found it off our website uh, but shortly i would say what the lord was saying to us only uh, only the, the 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 big points first of all what he was saying my church my church is in an emergency situation emergency 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 but they didn't hear they didn't understand they didn't realize it they are sleeping so go and sound the trumpet that they make Awaken, awaken. I have to awaken my church in different parts. My body, my church is ill. Some parts are not only sleeping, uh, there are spiritual dead, there are blindness, and so on and so on. So, and the Lord told us in three areas I have to wake up my church. Area one is come back. To the first love come back to me though god is calling calling us you and me in a deep 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 relationship with him we must know him this is eternal life to know him to know god the creator and who whom he sent jesus christ his son so we have to know him not only uh, some informations about him to know yeah i i i, I heard this I, I read this we have to know him to spend time with him to go deeper and deeper to know him how he is how excellent brilliant and awesome he is wow this is the first book come back to me the second point is come back to my word we are in a time where we are overwhelmed wave after wave with words, 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 words. And all the words, all the information around the globe can come into through, we have so many possibilities, iPad. We have our iPhones. We, have, uh, we are all the time in, in every corner of the world. We, we can receive uh, informations. So this is overwhelming us. This is crushing us. And all words, what, 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 what something, something, all information will do something with us. Come here, 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 hear me, hear me, hear me. Do this, do this. And in all this hectic, in all this, in all this circumstance, God called us back. Come back to my word. When we will know him, we must know his word. When we love him, we must love his word. Because in and through his word, he revealed himself. We see his character, his heart, what, what he was doing. We, we must create and ask for a hunger to his word. Come back to my word. The third area is come back to an understanding about your roots. The church is just from the beginning, second or third uh, uh, aeon uh, after after he created uh, uh, his his church, his body. First, only through Jews, only through Jews, and then we from the nations came came by added to the Jews and so it became uh, the church and then after after 100 200 years we cut ourselves from the Jewish roots from all what was Jewish and so 
we uh, in 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 11 in Romans 11 uh, Paul told us not you carry the roots but the roots carry you and with you he means the believers from the nation you and me so we must be connected with our roots otherwise we are dead dead and this is what we see a dead church because we are not connected with our roots and in Ephesians 2 he explained that he came not only uh, and, and cruci was crucified not only uh, uh, to 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 uh, to set you free to bring you a new life he came also to to destroy the wall between the Jews and us through his crucifixion on the cross and to to make both one the one new man his church Jews and Gentiles believing in Christ Jesus with one access to the Father through the Holy Spirit so and we have done the opposite exactly the opposite we have murdered them so we must Come back to an understanding about our roots and love them and pray for them. Be one with them. So these are the three areas. The three areas. And you, you will find in detail more uh, uh, this, this whole letter to the church uh, on our website. I, I give you here the date. It's www.verein-abraham.ch In German is www. Uh, Verein-Abraham.ch So, uh, alles klar. Uh, this is our website and you can go on the website and find uh, this message, this letter to the church in 20 languages. Please receive it. Please print it out. Please give it away. And first of all, read it. Pray about it. And let us turn to our God. This is his message for this time. I pray that we have ear to hear what the Spirit is saying. Goodbye and God bless you.